Hi everybody, Dominic Esposito, your drill instructor. Welcome to another night of the clinic and I've got something real interesting for you that you may have not realized if you haven't practiced this in a while, you don't want to be reminded that you haven't practiced it when you need it. Let me show you what I mean. Right now my table's set up to practice a really critical drill. Now you may not have all the balls like I have with all these cue balls, but you certainly do have a full rack of balls, and including the cue ball, that is a total of 16. You could work with eight and eight on each side, and you could put eight and eight down here on this end. First thing I wanna do is explain the drill, but I'm gonna show you something more important than that right after I explain the drill. You're gonna shoot each of these eight balls into this side pocket. Looks pretty easy, doesn't it? Sure. But if your bridge hand is not correct, this is one of the easiest shots to miss cue. So let me explain where you can solve the problem of not having the embarrassment of miscuing. One of the common bridge hands you can use is an open hand, pinch the thumb, and point the thumb up, slightly raise the knuckle, and that's going to make it easy to create a better V in the bridge. If it's flat, it's too easy to let the shaft slide. Slightly bridge it up and you're gonna be able to pinch. So when you're back here using this type of a bridge, see how I'm doing that by raising up the knuckles? That's giving it a bridge and then I can take the shot. The same exact bridge with more speed and you can see the problem. Now, a lot of you know if the ball's moved out here, you can just bring in the guiding thumb one finger over the top, one finger on the inside. The others can sit pretty much anywhere you want, but this way you've got stability, so this, this shaft is locked down in one, two, and three points right there. With this bridge and the ball is off the rail, well, certainly you can go ahead and shoot it as hard as you want because the bridge is secure. But if you bring this hand back and you try to shoot like that, you're going to absolutely guarantee you miss Q. From here, have to lock it down, watch this bridge hand. This time, lock it down as a real bridge. Look at, I'm making like an okay ICU. And what's happening there is pinching the air. And then this is off to the side. This middle finger is pressed against the shaft. And then here we are pinching at the point of the thumb. See how that's locked in? But you can't be off the cushion. You need to be on, right flat on the rail. And the only way you're going to do that is by pulling your fingers off the rail. What you're going to do next is you're going to bring over the top like a regular closed bridge, only this time you're going to separate this part and bring the finger the same way it would be on a, a rail bridge. See how the middle finger is inside? Only we're going to do that by bringing it back here into a position of a closed bridge. Now with this closed bridge, I am literally, the, the ferrule is just barely scraping along the cushion cloth. And like this here, and as long as it's down there, watch this. That is a full eight speed shot stroke right from the rail because of this tight bridge. If you're gonna shoot softly from way back here, you see how my hand is so far off. Once again, bring up the knuckles and all of a sudden the thumb's gonna come up. Lower the knuckles and you lose it. You can take the same shot this time, it's got to be slower with control. And this is usually generally never higher than a four speed max to have an open bridge. So as you take the balls from the side rail into the middle, and as you take them from the bottom rail, from this side to this corner, from this side over here to this corner, just be sure that you are taking the time to determine based on the shot speed if you're gonna shoot anything within a four speed shot stroke, you're welcome to use an open bridge, perfectly fine. If you're going to make it a harder shot, just like this, make sure you lock that bridge down or you might just be giving up ball in hand and that's not what you wanna do. That's the drill instructor way. Get to work on bridge hands, open and closed, based on your speed, long cross, short cross, so that the next time your cue ball's frozen to a cushion, you don't have to worry about the difficulty of catching the cue ball right. And make sure you get your chalk on the tip every single time because that is also what can cause the miscue. Aim straight, shoot straight, split the pockets, 
and I'll see you next time. God bless you. Bye-bye.